It was just a matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about... you know who. You'll have to fill me in. Radko Maximilian Perry? The local anti-Alg politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? It's important to follow the evidence in situations like this. You can't just accuse people left and right. I gave you evidence. I told you. The articles. Right. Other than that, is there anything else that makes you think this politician might be responsible? Damn right there is. Fucker told my car once. When he was municipal transport minister. I see. I hate that guy so much. Did you actually see anything? I just got here. So I see what you see. A dead, augmented journalist. Thanks. If you saw something, you have to tell let us. Them get away with this. I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed, just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. It's so sad that nothing will be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, are you? I was a cop, once. Old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He... he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? It's natural to be scared. And you understand. I don't want to get involved if I don't have to. Sure, I understand. You don't know anyone here. But there's a chance this could happen again. The more you're willing to cooperate with the police, the better the odds of catching whoever's responsible. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Let's talk to you about what happened. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... 
She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with uh, those kinds of orders? I quit. <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. I'm sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do, who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Who'd you piss off before this movie? Hmm. I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help us. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. Bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. I'm sure you won't mind if I look around. Whatever you say. From Pikus. Pikus News, the global leader in sales, Shit! and impartial reporting. Sir?
something wrong. By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. All right, I have some questions about the murder. together. Designated hands are cut. Would spread throughout Europe. <laughs> Fucking orcs. No respect. Are you Radko Perry? If this is about that anti-org speech I gave, save your indignation, okay? I'm only the voice of the people. I'm only saying what they want to hear. If I were them, never mind. Uh, uh, the whole uh, thing to think. Granted. Enjoying yourself, detective. I think I'm finally ready to shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. 
The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. Hey, Rookie! Get over here! It's time to wrap this up. Who's here? Who is this? It's Daria. From the crime scene. Do you remember? I'm at home. They brought me to cross from yours. Please, hurry. I need you one thing. Are you still there? Daria! My Interpol friend, it's dangerous for you to be out in the street tonight. Access granted. What are you doing here? It's after curfew. It's dangerous. Serial killers are dangerous. Curfews are just... inconvenient. I... beg your pardon? Daria Mishka. Ring a bell. I... Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I I'm not at liberty to divulge anyone's personal information. We both know why I'm here. We can take the scenic route if you want, but if something happens to her because you felt the need to bullshit me... Just tell the lawyers I'm doing the best I can here. 
If they were going to send someone, they should have told me. We could have coordinated. The lawyers, huh? You really need to start filling in the blanks. What was your involvement with Daria? Why did you need her to meet you here? I used to know Daria. She was a patient of mine. Your patient? You mean here at the drugstore? No, of course not. Before that, when I used to work for Taiyong Medical, big tech corporation. You know it? Enough to know I don't like where this is going. I headed a project. The cutting edge of neural science and cellular memory replacement. We dealt with people suffering from severe social disorders. We were making people better by making them better people. How exactly did you make people better? We found a way to isolate specific character traits. The idea was to use neural implants with imprints of desirable traits from select individuals and insert them into others who were, how should I say, less gifted. Take a man like yourself, for example. Could have given you a sense of humor. I'm funny enough as it is. Now how about you tell me what went wrong? Something obviously did. We were trying to help people. Imagine what it would mean if we succeeded. Anxiety, gone. Apathy, gone. Depression, gone. Diversity, gone. Spontaneity, gone. Individuality, gone. But you probably left that part out of your sales pitch. I... Daria is responsible for what Daria does. The only reason Tai Young forced me to get involved is because so much is at stake for them. Big brand name to protect. I've met their lawyers, men whose briefcases are filled with broken teeth. You must understand. I'm trying to save Daria. If any part of you cares about what happens to her, now is the time to tell me. What do I need to know to help her? Daria is beyond help. You're wasting your time. That's for me to decide. Now tell me about this procedure. And you can quit stalling because I'm not going anywhere until I get the answers I need. My job was to address people's deficiencies by integrating donor personality packages. That meant we needed lots of confident volunteers to donate time to our project. As you can imagine, people weren't exactly lining up to have a scrape inside their heads. So Tai Young had to diversify. Once again, not sure I like where this is going. Tai Young Medical cut a deal with various penitentiaries. Prisoners who took part in our programs, they got granted little perks, bigger cells, running water. The prisons, they benefited from facility upgrades. It was a win-win. You implanted the personality traits of prisoners into the mentally unstable? Smart. Let me take a wild guess. Daria's donor was Marix Fabodka, better known as the Harvester. Donor number 698843. All I saw... All I was given was a series of test scores that showed a perfect match. Everything she was missing, he had. Nothing else mattered at the time. An innocent woman's been turned into a vicious killer, in large part because of a procedure you carried out. I'd say that matters. Arya wasn't turned into anything. She willingly participated in a procedure. Now she is willingly killing people. You may choose to see a causal relationship between those two things, but let me assure you, it's more complicated. Save it for the lawyers. What I need to know is how to stop her. All right. Look, we obviously want the same thing here. Daria has a neural chip installed just above the hairline. She won't let you get anywhere near it. So if you're serious about putting an end to this, you'll have to, you know, what, kill her? That would be my preference, yes. Or, I suppose you could just incapacitate her, but then you run the risk of having her wake up. Not a risk I would take personally. I know there's a keyword that can shut down the chip. I read about it in your notes. Why would you try to keep that from me? Because I knew you would overestimate what it could do. You're a fool if you think you can just walk up to a killer and say a magic word. It won't undo what she's become. The decision to act on Svobodka's memories, to repeat them, that was all Daria. 
Simply shutting down the chip at this point will not be sufficient. That's for me to decide. What's the override phrase? Ad hominem 2026. But I warn you, do not turn your back on her. And do not underestimate her responsibility in all of this. We all have terrible nightmares. We all have visions of sick and terrible things we could do. But we don't all act on them. You must be careful around her. Thank God. I knew you'd find me. We must hurry, before he comes back. Before who comes back? The man who killed Angela Gunn? Yes. He knows you're after him. He wanted you to come. You can drop the act, Daria. I know what's going on here. I know there's no one else out there. I ran into an old friend of yours. The name Cipro mean anything to you? You mean... Doctor Cipro? Where did you dig him up? He's worried about you. He's worried about himself. He's worried about Taeyong Medical. They're willing to kill to cover things up, to preserve their precious image. Their reasons are savage compared to mine. I don't believe this is who you are. Something changed in you after Cypress surgery. Made you do things you would never have done otherwise. For reasons that aren't your own. But it's not too late. Don't be so naive. I am who I've always been. Cypress surgery, all he did was give me access to another man's technique. His courage to follow through. I can still help you. Ad hominem 2026. Is... is... <clears throat> what did you do? Is... is that how machines pray? Listen to me. The neural chip that Dr. Sipper installed in you is in the process of shutting down. Try to focus. This version of you that's been hurting people. I don't believe that was really you. Then... Then you don't know me very well. Why? Why should this change anything? The procedure gave me access to memory banks that weren't my own. The choice to draw on those memories was mine alone. You... You... You can't take them from me. The shutdown process may take some time. There may be lingering effects. But that doesn't mean it's too late to help you. <laughs> you really believe that, don't you? All right. Prove it. Approach me. Come. Closer. Save me from all those horrible things Dr. Sipra did. There's nothing to be scared of, right? Surely whatever trace of the... Har harvester was inside me is gone now that you've said the magic word. You obviously need more help than I can offer. But that doesn't mean it's not out there. Whatever power the neural chip had over you should be diminishing now. You should be able to fight whatever urges Svoboka's memories inspired in you. I... I don't need help. You do. You need to be... Sa sa saved. All Ogs need to be saved. Svoboka inspired me to... to... I can make you human again. I have to make you human again to atone for what I am.
This notion you got that augmented people need saving. That they're something less than human. Look, I didn't know her. But I guarantee you, Angela Gunn was a human being. Her humanity was defined by her ideas, her passions, the causes she believed in. It had nothing to do with whether or not she was augmented. So Botka never saw them as individuals. To him, they were victims of an age that terrified him. Mirror images of the monster he had become. He believed the entire race was under attack, that mechanization would keep our souls from migrating. How does that sound like to you when you say it? Migration of the soul? Victims of an age? I'm not talking abstract concepts here. I'm talking about people. Svobodka never saw his victims as human beings because it would have made it impossible to do what he did. He was sick. He was scared. Whatever he was, he was no savior. You're right. The more he killed, the easier it became. That is why he had to repeat the actions, ritualize them. It was a way of justifying his beliefs. If you kill one man, the memory is like an anvil. If you kill seven, you quickly forget the first. It all starts to seem inevitable. Surely it must be obvious to you by now. The Daria you came here to save no longer exists. She hasn't for a long time. All that remains now is his drive, his legacy, his cause. His cause, not yours. I don't know the extent to which you're responsible for your actions. Whether you chose to be like him or whether it was completely out of your control. But you are different. If you can recognize that, then maybe you can start distinguishing his motives from your own. Let's say that I can feel his presence receding. After all this time, maybe I can finally recover the person I was before she pressed procedure. That doesn't undo what I've done. How can I possibly be allowed to walk out of here? It's not for me to judge you. I want smarter people than me to look into this neural procedure you underwent. Dig into Cipra and Tai Young. So you're offering me a fair trial? I'm not offering anything. But if there's any hope of moving on here, not killing anyone else is a good start. Society has every right to judge you, and it also has a right to hear all about Cipra and Tai Young Medical. I'm not an expert on extenuating circumstances, but I'd say you have an interesting case. You were right before, about the override process taking time. I can feel him receding. Memories of, of memories no longer crashing against me like they did. Let me prove it to you. Come closer. I want at least one person to know that I'm no longer what I was. All right, Daria, we need to get you out of here for real now. This needs to end. The version of me who did those things to Angela, I, I cannot even imagine it being me, even though I, I know it was. Whatever happens now, whatever the authorities decide, I hope you believe me. What's going on here? What the hell am I interrupting? Detective Montag. Daria's got a story to tell you. How you react may have something to do with your thoughts on experimental neural therapies and big medical conglomerates. I don't understand. Where is the harvester? I, I want to turn myself in. One of you really needs to start explaining. I want to confess to the killings of Angela Gunn, Misha Voracek, Pavel Klima, and Leonie Wolf. I also need to tell you about the neural procedure I underwent. It involves Tai Young Medical and a man named Dr. Nicholas Sipra. I hope you'll listen. You can handle this from here. Just listen carefully to what she has to say. All right, Daria. I think you should start at the beginning. 